Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. It is 20 past 6 and I wouldn't normally be up and dressed this early in the morning but Ben just just left for work and I don't know why but in me I just felt this desire to get up and Bonnie is apparently still in bed but I said to Ben send her up let's get her up and she's still sleeping so I think I'm going to do things differently today instead of walking her first I'm going to go to the gym first normally I like to do the gym at like 10 11 o'clock when all the rush hours done and everything's you know quietened down but today I think I might get in there early early like <laughs> two extremes um so get a workout in and go and have breakfast down there get it all done before 8 a.m come back give Bonnie a walk and then we have a lot to do today lots of home stuff and worky stuff and I just thought I'd take you along we've actually got friends coming for dinner tonight so I thought I'd sort of show you some preparations getting things tidy getting things ready for guests we did have talks about them staying overnight but they're not going to anymore but I did wash the bedding just in case so I need to put that on just yeah get tidied hoover clean the bathroom cleaning 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 tidying but also obviously I'll need to get myself ready and make myself look nice so I'm also going to share my hair care routine and show you a bit of my air wrap today as well and this video is also perfectly timed by the lovely team at Tangle Teaser you guys know that I love Tangle Teaser brushes I think they're absolutely amazing and this morning I need to put my hair into a braid I think just so it's out of my face but I'll talk a little bit more about Tangle Teaser later when the sun has risen and I'm more awake uh, but I will start my day off with getting a brush through this putting a braid in and then we'll go to the gym we can do some tidying and then we can shower and blow dry my hair first brush I'm going in with is the ultimate finisher and this brush has seen me through so many <laughs> hairstyles moment i have used this constantly for probably years so all the brushes i'm going to show you today none of them are brand new i wanted the chance to be able to you know i've tried everything and share with you my absolute favorite so tangle teaser just said you can just share whatever whatever ones you love the most so the ultimate finisher is a really good obviously like it says on the tin finishing brush so good for when we do my curls later good for brushing out good for dry styling it's got the flexible teeth like all their brushes do and the power is all in the teeth as we know with tangle teaser it's got a unique configuration of teeth so the hair just sort of glides straight through it it doesn't like snag and pull it's just perfect and actually when you look at it closely the teeth are like slightly different sizes so you've got some shorter ones and longer ones so this is designed for dry styling so it's good for creating updos and adding uh light volume and texture and shine as well so it's a really good sort of all-rounder brush if you're gonna if you don't own any tangle teaser brushes this is definitely the first one i'd say um just because it just feels so nice the other thing as well is that if you have a weave or hair extensions it's good for blending your hair as well so very good all-rounder brush love it so now my hair is all scraped back it's a bit greasy definitely needs a wash we are going to pop it in a braid it's so early guys um but that is okay i haven't actually done a little braid in a while but this is a perfect little gym hairstyle just to keep it completely off my face i actually think this is a dutch braid because i go underneath rather than over the top is that the difference between dutch and french braids also i normally have gel polish on my nails get my nails done every two weeks but um they were feeling really sore like where i haven't been removing the gel properly even though i've got the kits and stuff but anyway my point is is that i've decided to have a little break from my gel nails just for another week or two um until i go away to parma Mallorca. so Basically, I've got no nails on right now, so I do need to pop some strengthener on these later. But yeah, I feel really bare without my nails painted. But anyway, so here's my braid. Let's just pop in a little bobby pin. Oh, that feels so nice. Right, I'm going to try and show you my braid. And I've just pulled it down around the side. Bonnie's been out in the garden. She's having her breakfast down there. Oh, guys, what is this? get all of this high high we want that up high well 
it is five past seven and i've arrived and the sun is out now it's actually a really beautiful day so i'm looking forward to going on a morning walk with bon after um, i am going to stay and have breakfast here i have been doing personal training once or twice a week this week is just once so i did it already so i'm trying to get a couple more cardio sessions in during the week because i am so unfit and when my pt asked me to do like five minute abs and all these things i just can't hack it i'm gonna go and watch some youtube and just go for a little run maybe do the rower on the step machine the cross trainer that kind of stuff all cardio based today look how lovely this is this morning look at that sunshine gorgeous i did it oh yes here's my breakfast this morning i've got a flat white and then scrambled egg and salmon with a bit of toast and avocado and it's so nice because you just order it on the app and then put your table number in and it's nice and quiet there's a couple of people opposite me but yeah look it's lovely in here love it well that was nice i ate my breakfast and i replied to some emails and dms and i put up an instagram post oh i need to put one on the online offline as well our podcast but yeah really nice and productive and now it is 10 to 9 so the problem with me is i obviously just faff around at the gym like i did my workout for 40 minutes and then i obviously ate my breakfast for another 40 minutes <laughs> so yeah i've just been um doing some work though so that's good so let's pop this back on charge and i've actually ordered a new iphone i didn't realize i was eligible for an upgrade so i bumped into a viewer in london uh, a couple of days ago and she asked to take a photo and obviously we took some photos and it was all lovely and we also did a video message for some f friends of hers and i was like what phone is this the quality is so good and she was like oh it's the new 13 pro max and i was like oh my god i just it blows my mind that the iphones just keep getting better and better um that the cameras on the phones now just so i said to her oh wow i think i'm gonna have to look into upgrading anyway i had a little, little look on my ee account and it said that i could do an upgrade for free and also get unlimited text unlimited calls unlimited data and the price wasn't too bad so i was like do you know what i'm gonna do it pro max i'm gonna go home shower do my hair we're gonna put some comfies on and then we're gonna do a really exciting task today guys because the utility room is finally finished nearly <laughs> there's one door left to put on one of the units but benj put the silicon in last night and he finished off gluing he's been working on um around the door frame i don't know if some of you remember but it was all yeah it needed fixing i just had a catch up with my mum and we were just chatting on the phone and i decided to come through the drive through drive through um car wash drive through car wash because my car needs a little bit of love and i thought i would do that on this friday morning so let's just see if they're actually open and anyone's in hey can i have wash plus please yeah, thank you thank you right bonbons ready for our morning dog walk is it a bit cold outside do you need a jacket no i think the sun's rising she's gonna start to need a jacket though because the poor little thing she does shiver if it's a bit cold don't you i know loads of you hate them but i swear by these crocs these are the fleece lined ones i'll leave a link if you actually are interested i know they look horrendous but for the dog walk they're perfect it's time to go home and you are one very soggy spaniel did you have fun by the looks of that waggy tail looks like you had fun we're in the bathroom i'm gonna jump in the shower and do my hair and as you know we're talking all things tangle teaser today so i'm gonna take my braid out that's been very helpful while i've been running around today the nicest thing about tangle teasers although they're known for their detangling brushes they have a hairbrush for every step of your hair care routine and the next two brushes i love so my first one is the wet detangler which is loved very much, I have hair in it. This is the kind of brush that you will see me pack on every trip that I do. I took it to London with me last week um, because I have to brush my hair when it's wet. It's the best way to get the knots out. I've had this brush for ages actually and it looks brand new, like it's just amazing. I've used it 
every time I have a shower. Tangle Tees actually told me that this has 325 patented soft flex two-tiered teeth, which flex over tangles and knots and ease when your hair is wet and it's most fragile, which is very true. And again, similar to the finisher brush, it's got like different, I'm gonna come in close actually. Can you see the different size teeth? It's so clever. The nice thing about this as well is that it will evenly distribute your shampoo or conditioner or masks, treatments, anything that you use through your hair. I usually use this with my conditioner and obviously my hair's straight today, so it's not too knotty, but I still will use it in the shower. It's not designed on dry hair, I was just brushing. <laughs> also, once Bonnie is dry and she's calmed down a little bit because she's still full of beans and playing with all her toys, I'm going to brush her with a pet teaser as well in a minute. Anyway, what I want to talk to you about was this brush as well. So I used to be really embarrassed about the fact that I have quite a dry scalp and therefore I get like dandruff, especially around the top of my head like here. I can usually do this with my scalp and like it just all comes off and you can actually see it. I didn't add for Tangle Teaser a while back showing this on Instagram and my brother actually filmed some close-ups of my hair before and he was like, ooh, wow, yeah, you've got dandruff. I was like, all right, Fraser, cheers. This is their scalp exfoliator and massager. As you can see, you just slot your fingers through the brush, go in like circular motions all the way around your head and this has changed the game for me. I honestly feel so much more confident and I don't have as bad dandruff dry scalp. So once again, the flexible teeth are designed to exfoliate the scalp and remove dead skin cells and any product buildup. And it's just a very clever little tool. So again, if you struggle with anything like that, like me, this is nice. Plus it's just a really relaxing massage as well that you can give yourself a bit of self-care moment. You know, if you're doing like a pamper night, you want this in your routine. In terms of products I use, I have the Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner. I love this. So I've actually just about to finish some bottles over there. So these are my new ones. I have a subscription to it. Yeah, as you can see, I love it. It's the only shampoo and conditioner I use. Two more things before I jump in the shower. One, I also use a microfiber hair towel now. I got these on Amazon in a pack of three and they are so much better than their like hand towels I was using. They're just a lot more gentle on my hair and my head, especially when I have my hair curly. So yeah, these are great. I will leave a link. And lastly, you need to put on some tunes for singing in the shower because you're not doing your hair care routine right if you don't have good music, upbeat, good, positive vibes to kickstart the day properly. So. I'm gonna put on some music and wash my hair. Right, I'm in my comfies. I'm wearing this morning top from my friend Adam. He just released a morning Christmas collection. So I've got this nice top on that he very kindly sent me and my Lululemon leggings, which let me say, I oh, by the way, I'm tinting my eyebrows too. <laughs> let me say, I know they're 88 pounds, so they're a bit spenny, but they are the best pair of leggings I've ever had. They feel like butter on my body, like just the best. Aren't they bonbon? They're the best like you. Um, yeah, so tinting my brows. I've just cleaned the bathroom as well. I just want you to all appreciate my beautiful bathroom that I have been cleaning and it looks so lovely in here. The last Tangle Teaser brush I want to show you today is the Easy Dry and Go Vented Hairbrush. This is by far the lightest hairbrush I own. It is honestly genius. It's got the patented teeth again, so these ones are slightly different. There we go, so you can see the teeth and the design. They adapt to your blow drying style. So they flex and they draw water away and then the vent down the middle just helps make blow drying quicker. So I use this for blow drying my hair straight this week and I will also use this along with my Dyson Air Wrap. So I know that this does have a brush attachment but every time I've used it my hair just goes so frizzy. So I much prefer to use an actual like hair dryer with my brush just so that I can really get underneath and then, you know, dry as I would. So I'll show you my hair drying in a minute, but I use this and then I'll also use the finisher brush. These are my hair brushes of choice. So I'm gonna use a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Again, this is a function of beauty one. Two pumps of that and run that straight through my hair. If you want to check out Tangle Teaser, you're interested in purchasing a brush or you wanna find out more about the brushes I've mentioned today, I'll have the links below for you. I love Tangle Teaser, I've loved them for years and years. It must be 
10 years at least. Um, so yes, I am a big fan. Dyson Airwrap, we're going to talk a little bit about this today. I love this. I love it. I think it's very expensive for what it is. However, it has been really good for me. The pros are that I can get a professional looking blow dry at home. It's very easy to use. It definitely doesn't seem to be damaging my hair as much. Like, I don't know what the heat settings are, are in it, but my hair feels smoother and in better condition. So that's a massive pro for me. Um, it's not too heavy, it's been easy to pack and carry, unlike my other hair dryers that are like, you know, like traditional style, they're very big and bulky. Um, so I've been taking this on all my trips. The only downsides really for me are, is that the curl does not hold all that well, but there are a few techniques you can do. So lots of people have lots of different methods, and if you join any of the Facebook groups, everyone will sort of give you their advice. Because my hair is naturally curly, it does hold the curl, but I would say it does drop quite a lot so it depends what sort of look you are after also there's different thickness barrels and different lengths too so my favorite is the longer thicker barrels so i like these ones i like a big bouncy loose wave kind of look but the other thing i find is that uh i have because my hair's naturally curly sometimes i have to put a hair straightener through it a little bit round the scalp area otherwise yeah it does go a little bit wavy so some days it works really well others i find it challenging i've also tried blow drying my whole hair and then i sometimes use a water spritz bottle this is literally just oh <laughs> just water in this and as you can see it's like a nice fine mist and i'll put that through the ends and then blow dry like half of my hair if that makes sense at the bottom half so there's a few methods and techniques i haven't quite thought about how i'm going to do it today um but let's just like get the hair dryer all over and get off some of the wet because it is still obviously very wet <laughs> So I want to try and blow dry at least this top bit. So it doesn't really matter too much on what the ends look like. So we're going to go in with the air wrap in a minute. But it's this bit under here. So get my blow dry brush under there. And then... I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'll then just go in and get the ends wet again. Because I don't want this bit wet because i want it to be more straight you know so just make that a little bit damp and then we're going to go in with the air wrap so i'm not going to do my whole head but we'll do some of it i'll show you obviously i don't mind if the curls are quite big and bouncy right now because they will drop so let's go in again all the way to the top Hopefully you can see that nice curl. A lot of people sent me the technique of hair, like pinning the curls, which I did try and I looked absolutely ridiculous. Some of you might remember that vlog. Um, it was too much. So I haven't quite found the balance, <laughs> but it's just so easy. It grabs onto the hair straight away. Go all the way to the top. I try and like smooth out that bit again. And then I'll bring the air wrap down to about there, just cause I want that bit to stay like straight so it's like loose bouncy curls you know so this is the difference as you can see we'll do my whole head but then obviously i could go in with my finisher brush and sort of just bring the curls together make it look really loose and nice and soft like so and then i can pop a little bit of hairspray in right so that is that side let's get our finisher brush and just literally brush through those curls at the bottom oh look at that it looks so nice it's all soft and lovely and then a little bit of hairspray in gonna grab some little um clips just to push that back depending on what method like which way i do this it can take me anywhere between like 10 15 minutes to 30 minutes max depending on if i'm like blow drying straightening and then doing the waves on the bottom but obviously i'm not straightening today and then obviously i am also pushing the button up on the cold when i'm um finishing off the curls so we just want to get the brush into this bit here oh upside down <laughs> there we go also the other thing i wanted to mention is that there's a little um bit on the back that you can put your thumb in 
it just makes it very comfortable to hold right so the top layer is dry and smooth little bit of frizz but that's okay then we're gonna wet the bottom again it's just so ridiculous that i do this i won't bother with that size yet and then we need the one that goes the right way switch this out today i'm also taking fairly big chunks but if i was uh if i wanted a completely different look obviously i would have smaller chunks and i could also go different ways i could swap and do the, the curls but i just want it to be loose and bouncy if that makes sense wiggle 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 and then sort of i wrap it so it's tight all the way to the top try and reduce some of that frizz and then I come down a little bit, like so. And hopefully, we have a nice curl. Turn it off, take it out. A fairly bouncy big curl. Do a little bit of that. Run my brush through it. Right, so before we do our final layer, I will go in with my Cloud9 hair straighteners and just remove some of the frizz at the very top there. So as we know, the curls are going to drop. They just always do. But I'm just going to run this brush back through these ones that I've just done. It just softens them a bit. I don't know if you can actually see. But look, they're looking like this. And then put the brush through. And they just sort of, some of them bunch together a little bit, but I kind of like that. She did this bit. Bonnie's down here. I don't know if you can see her little nose. Um, let's pull everything. <laughs> what do you think, Bonnie? Does it look good? Does mummy look like a different person? I know. I know. I look so much better. So there we have it. That is my hair care routine. I actually really want to get my fringe cut because it's so long and it's like sh like overpowering my face. So I will always end up probably putting a little bobby pin in like so, just to keep it out of my face, but just for the sake of showing you. Um, yeah, here we go. Here's what it looks like. Okay, it's the next day and we've been out for dog walks today and been running around the house and just wanted to interject and show you what my curls look like the next day because I think there's a lot of stuff online saying that the curls like don't last and actually the method that I've done yesterday, they've done pretty well considering I've slept on this and everything and all I've done is brush through with my finisher brush. So there we go, that's five minutes of just like zhuzhing it up and yeah i literally don't have to do much to it at all i'll probably get another day out of it tomorrow as well but i think it looks really nice it's not perfect by any means i can definitely be um you know more picky if i wanted to be but i'm happy with it probably won't need any bobby pins today either so there we go that is my hair care routine i won't lie that did take me longer than i'd like to admit but we are gonna go in the utility room I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put my slippers on. Right, so this is the kitchen for anyone that is new. Um, we renovated this earlier this year, and this is this side of the room, which is obviously not quite as nice. However, we are gonna do our best to move Bonnie's stuff and a lot of this. We haven't put the door back on just while Benji was finishing the white rock that's gone on around here, but ignore the blue, that needs to be peeled off, but he wanted it to fully be dry before we peel it, so I won't touch that. But here is the utility room. We've got one more door to go on later that he's gonna fix. We were just waiting for the hinges, they've just arrived. Um, and then we have our wine slash soft drinks, alcohol fridge. We've got a lovely big sink. We had loads of issues with the tap. We wanted it at the back, but there wasn't enough space. And we bought this big sink specifically to be able to wash Bonnie in it because this was the biggest size that Howden sold and she does fit in it. I know it looks quite small on camera, but she's quite a small dog actually, um, even though she's a spaniel, she does fit <laughs> in the, in the um, sink. So actually it worked out having the sink on the side because then it won't be in her way when we wash her and we can just take this apart and do what we gotta do. So I don't really mind it aesthetically. It's not, you know, fabulous, but hey ho. I would have actually liked gold over silver, but I don't think they had, or brass obviously, they didn't have it 
in the extendable thing, so that's a little bit annoying. Benji is an electrician, so he added in loads of plugs for me so I can have the slow cooker or microwave. Actually, I will put the microwave in there. Um, that'll be the first thing I'm gonna do, microwave in that corner. And then the splashback matches the kitchen. So yeah, it just looks so good. We've got the floor down. We're gonna get a new fridge. This one was secondhand from the old owners, but we're gonna get a new big fridge freezer. So that will change. Um, and then I've got some stuff to obviously sort out in that corner, uh, but we've got the washer dryer on this side. This is all the same as what we had before. So what we're thinking is, um, Bonnie stuff in the far right and I'll have her dog food and biscuits and stuff on the worktop. Shall I or shall I have her stuff on that side and have her things that side? Oh my gosh, I can't decide. I feel like I want to have drinks and alcohol cocktail stuff next to the fridge. And then I've got loads of bits and bobs like Tupperware and cleaning products that I want to go in there. I just need to move Benji's tools. And then I'm thinking, yeah, Bonnie stuff in here. And also, whilst I'm over this side, ignore this downstairs toilet. It is massively in need of a full renovation. I hate the colour. I hate all the pipes on show. I hate the floor. I'll show you. It's just become a massive, um, you know, dumping ground for washing brushes and tools. And, to, you know, it is what it is. We're going to rip the whole thing out. So... Ignore this. I think it's quite fun to have more projects to do though. Once we've done one, we've got another one to start, you know? Um, but yeah, so we're gonna fill the cupboard. So first things first, I'm going to clean the worktop, put the microwave in, and then we'll get some boxes and start sorting some stuff out in here, but I'm so happy. Right, first thing going in is the microwave. Ooh, it works. <laughs> That's good. I kind of want it on the far left because of the way the door opens, but obviously that is where the plugs are. So I'm just gonna have to accept that that's going in there. I always ask my Google to play morning jazz and it just makes me feel really relaxed and zen. I absolutely love it, play it in the morning, play it when I'm working. Just so peaceful. Okay, boxes wise, I bought some more of these from Home Bargains. And then I've had these for ages from TK Maxx. They were $7.99. I've got loads of random things in them right now. <laughs> what have we got in here? Should we have a little haul? We've got a little fake plant, a little duck, a little anti-back thing. So I just want to clean out inside there because it's looking a bit rough. What are they for? And I want these on the top, on the side, because I just think they're so, oops, I think they're so nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have them out on the top. I've already changed my mind. I had Bonnie stuff down here, but these cupboards are quite big and I want to utilize them. And I don't think she has that much stuff. So I've got some of her stuff here and she has some bits and bobs at the back. But I think I might have like her big dry food down there and then her other bits here. Look how cute these things are. So I can use her dry scoops in there and give her treats from in there. Yeah, I think that looks nice. So my mum is popping around in a minute, but I'm just organizing our tea towels into this little basket because I did have them in this thing, but they were just getting shoved in there. So I'm gonna use that for something else, but I'm making really good progress. I'm very happy. Oh, it's so good guys to have a utility room. I've dreamt about this moment for so long. Hang on, in half go this way I am so happy right now right I thought I'd show you where we're at I have got lots of storage going on so I've found loads of boxes that I already owned and then the ones I picked up yesterday and I'm liking how it's looking I mean that fits perfectly maybe too close to the tap so I may move it so yeah it's still obviously not done but I just thought I'd show you where I'm at under the sink obviously was a little bit of like moving things around because I had to work with the sink and the plumbing and then over here I'm working on alcohol, soft drinks, and I'm gonna do a whole box for Benji's, um, oh, what's this called, protein stuff. There's only a couple of things left on the work surface I need to sort. And then all of this I have decluttered as, yeah, just stuff to go. So recycling, some metal stuff. I bought those Ikea shelves um, ages ago to use in our, uh, pantry unit thing but I just don't use them anymore and they don't really work in there so gonna get rid of those yeah and other little stuff and that bag is full of expired stuff that we always hanging on to and yeah we just don't need any of it so I might run down to the dump and get rid of all this because that will just make this area so much cleaner and then I can hoover and over this side 
I've cleared everything that was down here and all that's left really I think is Benji and his tools. So once this is cleared out, we'll be able to order our sofa and have the sofa, coffee table, and we're thinking of having a fireplace in that um, corner eventually. But yeah, it will look so good when it's done. I probably should have done my hair after all this, but I didn't think I'd be going to the dump today, but I think I will. I'm gonna run down, it's only 10 past two. I hate going there, I have to like mentally psych myself to go because I just hate going there. I don't know what it is, I just don't like it. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna clear all this out and if I go now, come back, I still have lo loads of time to do the bedding, hoovering, and just prepping in the lounge. Our guests are coming at half six, so time is still on my side right now, which is great. That was actually quite painless because I'd organized it into cardboard, uh, scrap metal, and then landfill stuff that couldn't be recycled. It was really quick and easy. It was actually really quiet, so noted. 2.30 on a Friday, it was nice and quiet. It actually took me longer to drive there and drive home, but I feel so much better. There's still so much to do, but so much has been cleared and put in the utility room now and we're pretty much finished with the utility in the kitchen a year on from ordering it <laughs> so we all know the importance of brushing our pets coats and the tangle teaser is great because it's not metal so it's got the same flexible teeth we've got a big helicopter going over us oh my gosh my breath stinks <laughs> wow we're gonna have to sort that out that's all, oh, good girl, Bonnie. Good girl. <laughs> good girl, is that nice? Very good girl. I know, just gently. Luckily, this brush is nice and gentle. Yes, you can look so pretty for your guests tonight, huh? Our friends that are coming have also got a dog. They have a red lab called Reggie, and he's also a rescue. They rehomed him a few months before we got Bonnie. <laughs> is that nice on your belly you like it on your belly don't you um anyway so now she can look so pretty for reg her best friend you love reggie don't you you guys are good pals yes you are it's great she doesn't try and run away when i do this she's just a little bit wiggly that's all this is just helping remove any dirt and keep her coat nice yes good girl very good girl look at you look at you you look beautiful. Okay. All right, I think that's enough of that. That's enough of that. <laughs> Good girl, Bonnie. Good girl. Where's your toys? Where's your toys? Also, with the pet teaser brush, you can use it on wet or dry coats, and they do different sizes, so they have like a puppy one as well. I'm gonna walk Bonnie again this afternoon. I'll feed her, let her food go down, and then walk her. So I'll do that in a couple of hours, but just catching my breath because I've just been doing the washing. We've had this wash basket for ever. I'm pretty sure I had this when I was at my flat and it's driving us both mad because these corners, they have Velcro and they constantly ping off. It's actually snapped um, at the back there. So we needed a new one. So we did a little bit of research and we came across the most expensive wash basket ever it was ridiculous, like 90 pound ridiculous. And I know what you're saying, wow, I could never spend that on a wash basket, but we both figured that this was absolutely genius. You can basically pull out your washing in its own little bag and take that downstairs rather than having loads of wash baskets. Here we go, so I've got to build it, which may take me like 10, 15 minutes. Apparently it's just a little bit fiddly. I did read the reviews, um, but once it's built and it's done, I'm really excited about it. So out with the old and in with the new is the plan. For the price you pay, I do feel like it should be already put together, but if it's as good as some of the reviews say it is, this is gonna change our life. I've only been doing this for less than five minutes and it's nowhere near as hard as I thought it was gonna be. It's just a little bit fiddly because you've got to fold this bit of material into the plastic but actually it's quite satisfying as you go along it's quite enjoyable to build it it's actually not too bad at all you just got to have a little bit of strength in your hands there we go out with the old in with the new I like it. yeah yeah ben just home now yeah. i know it was ridiculously expensive but yeah just so much better got the washing in there now light's still gone on the left bench and dark's on the right how are you got a label on but i can put a little label in there if you yeah, want for you I think so. <laughs> 
Get your cricket out. I'll get the cricket out and I'll put a little label in there for you, shall I? Yeah. Okay, fine. Do you want the lid? Because obviously we didn't yeah. have a lid before. Yeah, so everyone can see can... my pants. True, true. So you can just lift it up and chuck it in. Yeah. I'm a bit torn. I don't know whether to have it that way round. Although you can see the thing. I don't know what to do now. I'll ask Benj in a minute. Looks good. You happy? Yeah, I'm not sure what some things are for though. Like, what's this for? That's for storage, obviously. What's that for? That is to organise with a Z, because it's American. Obviously Benji is still doing some things in here, but I have moved the baskets to the other side. They were bugging me. They were just too close to the sink. It was looking too cluttered. Um, probably not going to keep that sign up there <laughs> either, but you know, I've moved them over to this side. I really like the baskets. I think they look nice on the worktop. I've also just tidied up in here and I've uh, puffed the pillows and lit a candle and yeah, it's all nice for our guests. I've even got little fairy lights up there. I've also put on some music just playing in the background. It's called Sensual Music. I'll leave it linked below and it plays 24 seven radio. I've also hoovered the stairs. So I just need to do a final hoover up here. I know they aren't staying, but I'm gonna make the bed now. And I am just gonna pop the lights on in here just in case they do end up staying. Oh, I need to wipe the sides. Purchase some bits from a brand I've had my eye on for ages now. And they're called 195. They are a bit expensive, but look, I love toiletry bags, makeup bags, wash bags. And I have been on the hunt for like the perfect one for a really long time. Again, if I could design my own, I would. And I came across this brand when I worked with Wild and I bought one of their collaboration bags. As you can see, it says Wild and 195. I have seen them pop up so much and I basically decided to treat myself and get some bits. It was really expensive but because I bought quite a lot I got a really good discount so I saved like 30 or 40 quid or something but it was still quite expensive. But anyway I bought the travel um, duo like you get two for a better value anyway but this is the wash bag and the whole company is very eco-conscious so it's made the lining's made out of 100 percent recycled plastic yeah so this is the brand so let's do the main product which is the wash bag and it feels amazing like the texture the material is just so lovely it's got a little zip at the back which has a little hook so you can hook your toiletry bag up if you so wish to and then it goes down flat and this slides up and you can use that as your travel, um, you know, wash bag that you can use through the airport. And then it just magnetics back in. It's so clever. Love the little pockets everywhere. Little bit for your toothbrush. This is just so nice. So I'm so happy with this. And then with it came this one, which actually does fit inside. But this I'm going to be using for my tech gadgets, leads. I think I'm going to probably put my passport in it, that kind of thing. So inside... There are loads of little pockets so I can organize wires, put a pen in there, put any like medication I need, just things like that, you know? It's just so good. So I'm really happy with that. Obviously I already had this one. I also bought the travel um, toiletry bottles because my I got some from a function of beauty, but they leaked. Well, one of them leaked. So I thought I would um, just try a different brand. So yeah, these look like quite a nice size. And again, they feel nice. And last but certainly not least, I also got the laptop sleeve because I'm going to be taking my laptop away with me. And I just thought this would be really nice as well. That's what it looks like inside. And all of the products have this same sort of lining. It's so lovely. I'll leave a link below. Like I said, bit spendy, but sort of thing that you invest in and you get really good quality. And um, I'm very excited to be using it all. So I'm going to start popping a few things in my wash bag that I'm going to need. So here's our bedroom. I hoovered a couple of days ago but I think I'm going to do it again. Obviously got the new wash basket and then spare room is looking lovely. Nothing on the floor. Again, I'm going to do another Hoover and then my office. Probably it's just got a little chew toy. Nothing in the hallway apart from the Hoover, which I'm going to take downstairs and do downstairs as well. So the Hoovering's the last thing I need to do up here, I think. I'm just sorting out some towels. I've put a fresh hand towel out and there's nice soap and this is all looking so lovely. I feel so good. We've got good timing. So I'm going to go and take Bonnie for a walk now. And then when I come back, I'll have another hour and a half still to do a final clean downstairs because it does need a lot of attention downstairs. So let's go. Oh my God, guys, I can't believe I'm saying this. But look! Ah! <laughs> Yay! It's so echoey in here. But 
it is all gone. That's it. That is a wrap on the kitchen utility, finally. So today is actually the 5th of November. The utility room is done. Everything is looking lovely. I've written on the board, welcome Megan, Will and Reggie. I've hoovered the hallway. Everything is looking good. Ben's just run down to Tesco to get some Pepsi Max. I am going to get changed into something that's not these clothes. And then I need to prepare for my guests. Oh my gosh, honestly, I thought I'd have more time, but I don't. They've just texted and said they're 15 minutes early, so... Oh, right, let me put my outfit on and I'll show you what I wear. So I just want to be comfortable because I'm probably going to sit on the floor and play games. So I've just thrown on this dress from Asda, I think it was, a long time ago. It's old. One of those dresses that just, yeah, nice and floaty. Going to have some pasta, so loads of room for that tights and I'll put my slippers on. So I want to be really present for my guests tonight and we're just going to catch up with them, cook them a meal, even though we're both so exhausted but I'm really excited and then we're going to play some games and there's fireworks going off so I need to keep an eye on Bonnie. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching this vlog today. I'm loving making these home vlogs so please click subscribe if you're not ready. I will be going to Parma very soon so there's going to be travel vlogs and pack of me's and loads more home vlogs like this. Benj and I are actually in London next weekend where we're going to be doing um, mini golf, theatre, dinner out, cinema. It's going to be so good so make sure you keep an eye out for that because we're celebrating Benji's birthday. I feel like I've talked so much today but I just wanted to finally say a big thank you to Tangle Teaser for sponsoring this vlog. I will have their website and details linked down below for you. Um, just loved working with them today. I think you can clearly see how much I adore Tangle Teaser so great partnership, very proud. So thank you to them, thank you to you guys for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.